Okay, one of the things that we've discussed in class was this uh, number eight, uh, plate eight. And we looked at doing the circles. We can see that we've created this circle here. We just copied it over the distance we needed, and then we just moved it down the one feet. Then we created our center circle and outer circle. What we're discussing today are not necessarily these circles, but is the circle that encompasses all of this on this side and this side. This is a circle that we do tangent to tangent radius. Now some people say there's a misconnection that you have to have an intersection point, intersection point here, and the circles will join. You have to have specific areas. So let me show you. If you choose the tangent to tangent radius and you come in here and let's say that we want it to connect down here or over here to here we can simply just choose anywhere on the circle here anywhere on the circle here and then put in our dimensions of our actual circle itself that encompasses it and you see that it will connect where it's supposed to connect and you see I chose here and I chose over here so it did not necessarily mean where need to connect it put the circle right on top of those where they're supposed to be let's look at that again so we choose tangent to tangent radius so then we come over here and we say well okay where do I want it? I could choose anywhere on this circle. So let's choose here. And then I can choose anywhere on this circle. And then let's look at the 4.75 and look what happened here. Because our radius was inside, we need to choose anywhere out here and out here. Because remember with a circle there's quadrants. There's one, two, three and four okay so let's look at that one more time we choose the tangent tangent radius now we're choosing here and we're choosing over here and then we'll put our 4.75 in there inches and now it works perfectly okay